Hey YouTube, it is Tuesday, March 28th. Yes, I'm on my way home. It is about 5.30, hence my shininess. I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani, is it Luminous Silk? And I have not repowdered, so of course it is quite luminous. Um, and yeah, so um, yeah, busy today. It's such an awful day. It's raining, cold, um, so I didn't have a chance to do a little filming until yesterday. I mean, until till yesterday. <laughs> I'm tired. Until just now. And yesterday I didn't get to film at all either because there was a bunch of people in this room all, in and out all day. Um, so, sorry about that. I wasn't wearing anything groundbreaking anyway. You know, does anyone else, let me know guys, when do you start wearing your new spring wear, or not even new spring wear, spring wear in general? When do you wear, you start wearing yours? I personally don't start until like May, until the weather is really warm, until this rainy April, March weather goes away. Unless, you know, I get a couple of warm days and then I'll pipe up and wear something cute, but usually I'm just like still in cozy outfits. And I hats off to some of these girls on YouTube, these women, who can wear like barely nothing in cold weather and bare legs and yeah, high heels and rain. I just, I'm not one of those people. So I'm a little lazy. So when do you start wearing your spring stuff? Do you start wearing it really at the beginning of summer? I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is a new sweater. I just got this yesterday from um, H&M. It was in their sale for 20 bucks i was looking for a cozy gray and you guys know me i love this dove gray um turtleneck i need a black one it's not in the best of materials but it'll do um as long as it doesn't pill or look like foolish after a while i'm okay with it and i love that it has it has the split hem um so it's longer in the back and shorter in the front the split hem um so i just tuck it and I tucked it into the front because my kid was going nuts this morning and totally threw me off my game of trying to figure out what to put on with this thing. So I just grabbed the closest thing <laughs> to me, which was this um, wool J. Crew pencil skirt. No fun. Whatever. And I've had for years and years. Um, and uh, my gray tights. The shoes do not laugh. And navy blue because all my other shoes my gray shoes are still in storage and besides it's raining anyway so i um i didn't want to wear my light gray shoes for fear of watermarks so i just pulled out my navy blue coach patent leather i could not find my silver ones i think they're still in like bags somewhere in my closet so that's today yeah a little lackluster so sorry for the lack of uh oomph um what is on the eyeballs today? I've just been in this like kind of maroon brownie color lately. Um, what's on the eyes today? What did I use? Oh, I used the Lorac um, unzipped palette. Yes. And the earrings are my little um, initial studs for my initial and my two little babies. Uh, same rings I've been wearing for the past month. And uh, my bracelet stack. I still have not gotten around to doing my nails. <laughs> so, anyway, I am heading out the door. I will most likely be talking you talking to you guys tomorrow, and then I'm off on Thursday. Um, and then Friday, I will hopefully upload my... I was tagged... Andre tagged me in the best pre-loved item. I think that's the tag. So I will hopefully have that up on a Friday. So, yay. Um, I've just been lugging around this pink leather, uh, gap tote, uh, mainly because I have a ton of mail to get through and it doesn't fit in any of my little smart, uh, handbags. Also, I'm too lazy to change it out. <laughs> so, just wearing my, uh, also too lazy to change my coat, apparently, too. Uh, just going through a lull. We all go through them. I'll poke up eventually. <laughs> um... This is wearing my black wool Zara coat, um, which I love, by the way. I'm so glad I bought this coat. It looks great on the weekends. It looks great now. It's just, it was a great buy, and I'm glad I bought it. 
Uh, I don't know how chilly it is, so I will most likely probably keep it unbuttoned. And my Burberry scarf to boot. Once again, I do not know how cold it is, so for now, it will just be wrapped up. I mean, I'll just lay it like this. Um, until I get hit with a blast of cold and rain outside, then I have to button everything up. So, I'm wearing a clash of colors, and I don't care. I don't have to be put together all of the times, you know. <laughs> I just noticed how, how many colors I'm wearing. Pink, purple, gray, and navy blue. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Uh, it is Wednesday, March 29th. I am heading out the door. I'm actually late. It is about 5.15ish, so I need to catch my bus. <laughs> um, once again, hectic day. Tomorrow I'm off. Friday I work from home, so sorry. There's only two videos this week. I hope next week is back to normal. Um, but that's life, in the words of Frank Sinatra. Um, yeah, so just a quick outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this navy blue Cos uh, merino. It's a dress. It's got a merino top. I don't know how well you can see it with the little collar. And then the bottom half is um, shirt, tail, hem, and it's silk. And with my Zara um, flats that I love. Give you a close up really quickly. And these are shoes. I've been feeling navy lately. And of course, my uh, Sam coat, which is probably the last time I will be able to wear her. It should be nice, though. I can be walking around with this big fur. <laughs> um, and it's spring, so I particularly wanted to wear her because I've been dying to wear this with my Chanel bag. So, here. I know it's a little boy bag, but I kind of just want to say she, so here she is, <laughs> out to play. I really need to bring her out some more. I was telling Andre on Instagram that she needs a uh, classic flap maroon gold hardware sibling. Uh, I don't care the size. I would rather a medium large, but at this point, that bag, they don't seem to want to bring that color back. I think it was a 2015 color. And I can't find it anywhere pre-loved, but it, it needs a sibling. And that was one of the siblings that I would like to give it. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that is the outfit for today. Um, and I am wearing with it my new, um, what are these? Karen Walker sunglasses. Uh, on the eyes today are um, chocolate bar palette, and this foundation, which I do not think has held up well at all, um, I think it's a Becca foundation. God knows what long name it is. It claims something in its long ass title. In which case, it, I don't think it held out well, but I'm almost done with it. I mean, it is the foundation that has lasted for like years <laughs> and it's still going strong in the bottle. Um, so yeah, same earrings, my little, uh, what do you call it, studs, um, initial studs. Um, and that's about it guys. So I will hopefully be talking to you guys next week. Hopefully it'll be a full week for me and nothing unforeseen uh, comes up. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye. So I just ran down my UPS guy. <laughs> oh, the phone fell. Just ran down my UPS guy because I knew he had a package for me. Um, and I was running out, so I was like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you. He's like, yes, I keep your job. <laughs> I don't help keep it anyway, all the freaking shopping. And there's my package. Yay. So, let me see if I can do this um, with you guys. I may have to put you on pause to open it. So, this, I wanted a black tote. The one I have is kind of gross <laughs> for the weekend. So I went on to Coach um, Factory when they were having their um, their event, and I found this one. So we'll see if I like it. Oh, I wish I had a place to put my... I'm going to have to turn you guys around. 
what is the way up in this? Ah, supposed to be going to the store. the best unboxing. Um, I'm going to do this thing with one hand. And of course it is wrapped to the T. Okay. So cute. I don't know if you guys can really see. It's the Gary Baseman collab that that Coach did. And it's just a cute tote that I can just throw my stuff in um, on the weekends. So hopefully you all can see that. It's cute. Coach Baseman it says Coach What's it say? I wish they would put that in a some kind of foil. Coach ba Baseman for Coach. Yeah. So it's nice to have puddle weather. I'm not going to take all the stuff out now. But I just wanted to show you. Let's see. Here is this tag. It sold out pretty quickly, though, on the website. It's $3.95. I got it for $1.39. So I thought it was a pretty good buy. Super yeah, cute. Super cute. I had the wallet to match for 79 bucks, but I was like, let me be nice. It'll be good and just get what I came to get. But it's cute. It's smaller than I thought, but I think it'll work for my purposes. So, yay! So now I am driving to the store. I didn't want to um, miss him because UPS guy because I don't know if I had to sign. Sometimes I don't have to sign for them. They just leave them at my door. Sometimes you do and then it takes forever for them to come back. And blah, blah, blah. So, there she is. I think it's a cute, I think it's a cute bag. I actually like the size actually. It's much smaller um, than what I thought and more compact so I kind of like that actually. And I hope, I wonder if it's going to sag over time and get a little softer. I, 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 would, I would actually want it to slouch. So what do you guys think? I thought it was so cute. I love how big this is. It's part of the leather. It's not some press-on. Um, so it won't rub off. It's really soft leather too. I'm loving it. And I ordered the hang tag. There's a um, in this print, um, in this, oh my god, animal print, there's a hang tag that Baseman did for Coach that I found on eBay that I ordered to go with it. So oh, I like my purchase. You know I'm not supposed to be purchasing. So yay. Oh, come on, people. Oh, I'm such slow reaction times. So yay. That is my black, um, my tote that I'm going to switch out for the other. I have a black J. Crew one, but it's kind of old and dingy now. And so I wanted an updated black leather coach for the, um, black leather tote for the weekend. And when I saw the cute, and then this would be cute for a beach bag too, I think. I think it'll be perfect for a beach bag as well in the summertime. Um, and I like the little whimsical, I think it's a gremlin. I guess it's a gremlin. It looks like a gremlin. So, check out, um, I think if you are part of, you have to sign up for Coach Outlet. Um, the Coach Outlet, when they have their deals every day, I think they have them once a month. You can get access and you can grab um, some really cool um, bags. Because uh, for a while, Coach Factory was just make the. I think they were manufacturing bags just for Coach Factory and those, those awful CC ones. Um, in my opinion, I just didn't like them at all. Um, but now they're actually getting bag. They're selling the bags that they actually sell in the store for discounted prices. Just like my um, my backpack, that hologram backpack I bought. They was started. They sold it once it was sold out on um, Coach.com. They actually um, started selling it at the Coach Factory outlet for I think it went down to was it one seventy nine? And I was like, hey, so um, yeah, sign up if you guys like Coach and actually give Coach a try. I like Coach. They're actually coming back and they're doing some really cool things with the brand now. So. Check them out. They are really good uh, quality for the um, for the price. So I'm happy I with my little tote. Yay, over there with the Chanel. So talk to you guys later.